In this video, we'll draw the graph and write the equation when we have slope 3 and y-intercept of 1. So here's how we do that. We look at the y-intercept first, because that's where our line is going to cross this y-axis here. So y-intercept is 1, we just go to 1, and that's our first point. It's helpful then to think of the slope. We have a slope of 3 here, but think of it as 3 over 1. Still 3, but now we can call this rise overrun. And that's very helpful because we can go to our y-intercept, rise 1, 2, 3, and go over 1, and we have our next point. From there, we can go 1, 2, 3, we rise 3, run 1. You can see we have three points. Likewise, we could go in the opposite direction, down 1, 2, 3, to the left 1. That's also on our graph. Let's put a line through that. We put arrows to show that it goes to infinity, and that's the graph for when we have a slope of 3 and a y-intercept of 1. If we want to write the equation, we can use slope-intercept form. We have y equals m, and m's the slope, that's that 3. Put our x here, plus b, the y-intercept, we said that was 1. And we have the equation y equals 3x plus 1 when we have a slope of 3 and a y-intercept of 1. This is Dr. B. Thanks for watching.